beautiful out here. Just before turning on the camera, I was treated to a hunting demonstration by a pair of northern harriers. One of them flying low, one of them flying high. It's very interesting. I am out here on the Cooley Rim. It is the 21st of April, 2021. It's 21 for 21. Um, a Wednesday in the lunar cycle Matsi Kapisaki, some the frog moon, last winter moon. And even though it doesn't look like winter today, and indeed I am dunning shorts, tomorrow it will snow here, believe it or not. <laughs> so this evening, or this after late afternoon, I am kind of checking out some rattlesnake dens here in the west side coolies. And I came across an example of something that I get frustrated with. Because I, I'm all about public education. I think everybody should know all about the animals out here, where they are, what they're doing. They should be engaged. We should all be engaged in a way, um, in a respectful way. You know, give them their space and everything. Not everybody has to be out in the coulee doing this. But we should know about the things that are going on out here to the extent that we can. Unfortunately, I can only show people what's going on to a certain level of, um, to a certain degree <laughs> of exactitude, because if I actually show people den, den sites, they do stupid things, which I'm, I'm going to show you. So I'm here at this wood pile where probably many, many people have seen me in my videos depositing rattlesnakes taken from the neighborhoods that are out in that direction. Right, I bring them out here, release them in the wood pile, or at this hole that's by my feet. This hole that is currently filled with detritus, including a concrete anchor of some kind, some wood. Um, no doubt, someone put these things here thinking that that hole is a rattlesnake den and they are saving <laughs> let them bring that anchor back up here it's still going they're saving their fellow man and their children and their, and their dogs by blocking up this hole killing the rattlesnakes Short story, when I was five years old, I thought the same kind of thing. <laughs> I learned a lesson at that age that some of these people haven't even learned into adulthood. In my case, and look, they've got this big concrete pad here too. I don't want anything marking areas where there may be snakes. But this is not a snake den, people. This is the thing. I deposit snakes here because it's a safe place to deposit them. It is near to the den sites, so they will be able to find their way to their home dens. There are several den sites uh, within distance of this wood pile that the snakes can access that would most likely be their home dens. So I bring them here because I can release them in the wood pile or underground or wherever safety they need. They can spend some time, a night or what have you, and move out at their leisure. But people see it, they think it's a snake den, so they've blocked it off. Um, <laughs> when I was five years old, I saw some uh, a, a hive of bees underground. And... They were bumblebees, and uh, I thought I would um, close it up because people get stung by bees. I'd be doing everybody a favor. I will destroy this beehive. I'll close up the hole. So I stepped my five-year-old thinking, which is not too far from whoever closed this hole. I stepped down that hole, and. Uh, Tried to suffocate them out. Of course, I had bare feet 
at the time. And within, you know, seconds I was swarmed by bees and my poor mother who's highly allergic to such things had to come running out into the field and rescue me from the swarm of bees. And uh, I was stung every year after that from the time I was five till I was about 25, about two decades. Every year I was stung multiple, multiple times. And I knew first, you know, in some subconscious way or whatever, it was payback by the bees and the wasps. They joined in, by the way. <laughs> I would say, I, I swear to gosh, I, people say, you know, bumblebees don't sting. One time I was on my, my dirt bike, I must have been 10 years old or whatever, and I was out in some field going up and down these hills and stuff, and I seen on this um, thistle flower, on this big purple thistle flower, I saw this bumblebee, it saw me, she saw me, and I knew immediately that bee was gonna sting me and I rode as fast as I could down and up the next hill stopped looked back and straight away right into my eye stung me okay got a swollen eye that was the first time I learned how to use tea bags to take down a, an eye swelling <laughs> um, yeah I got stung and stung and stung and stung until I broke the curse. I had to do a little a cleanse to do that, a ceremony, but it worked. But now, you know, I learned my lesson. I don't mess with things that aren't messing with me. These snakes aren't messing with anybody. Hey, you have to step on them, touch them to get yourself bit. It's not easy to get bit. Um, but. You know, if you're stumbling around unaware out here, yeah. Or if you're a, if you're a dog and you think you're going to put your sniffer on one of those snakes and it's going to be okay, it's not, you know. So, anyway, that's my little uh, soapboxing for the evening. But it just, it pisses me off when I come to one of my sites. And it happens every year, somewhere. I come to one of the sites that I've shown on videos and I see that somebody's molested the site, some moron. So... Good for you, moron. This is not even a snake den.